Aquarius, hi. So um, this is going to be a reading for mid-April 2021. And I'll do the reading for you and then I'll close it off with a oracle card. And these are general readings, so they may not resonate for all of you. If they do, there is an extended. At the end of the video, you can check it out in the description box below if you want. Now let's see, Aquarius... Okay, the overall energy for the reading, the Knight of Wands. Uh, this is moving forward. This is blazing forward, basically. Um, hmm. Somebody's kind of... Hey, what's up, baby boy? You want to come in? You want to or don't you want to? You want to or you don't want to? He don't want to. I think he wants to. Um, he's still at the door there. That's Oscar. Felix is here. Boomy. Um, yeah. Interesting overall energy when in the reading I'm seeing something else. But it could be your energy intertwined with somebody else's. But we'll see. Starting off the reading, you get the Four of Pentacles crossed by the Nine of Swords. Somebody is refusing to let go of something very painful. Um, something that's stressing them out, something that they may not even get too good of a sleep over it. Uh, but they're not letting it go. And at some point it becomes a choice. You know, are you going to stay in that energy and basically just perpetuate it and just be in... Uh, or are you going to do something else about it? You know, so I don't know if that's you or somebody you're dealing with, but somebody's holding on to a pretty unhealthy energy even for themselves in your focus here the king of swords i feel that this is you here you know standing in your power um and being pretty determined about something in the recent past the temperance card um that's just changes coming Changes happening, growth. I don't see that as anything bad. I'm trying to figure out who's who in here because I feel like one is you, the other one is um, under a different energy. I'm not sure if this is you, the one that's holding on to something here. Um, anyways, in your strength, the hangman. You're not necessarily moving. You're not necessarily trying to create... Felix. Do not try to rip through that, please. Thank you. Um, you're not necessarily trying to create any kind of commotion. You're trying not to participate necessarily in a way that's going to create more commotion than there already is in a situation. Um, this, to me, represents you, basically, as holding space. Not trying to go anywhere, not trying to interfere with this person's process, just holding that space and just standing still through it um which is pretty difficult to do but i feel like that's where you're at currently around this in the immediate future the judgment card um things are going to change here especially with the wheel of fortune coming in for the supportive energies something's changing something's changing possibly for the better here uh there's definitely one person that's holding a grudge while the other person is just kind of again not looking like they're going anywhere, like they're running away from this, or not looking like they're feeding into this energy either. You know, they're kind of neutral about it, everything. In the energy that surrounds you, and you may not be aware of it, Four of Cups, again, that sense of discontent, that sense of unhappiness, and that belongs to whoever's holding on to something from the past. Now, this could be you. This all could be you. I don't know. Um, where you are feeling like you've got it, pretty much, overall you've got it, but there's one particular situation that pisses you off and you're just not ready to release that, ready to forgive that, maybe. So it could be you. Um, 
in your hopes and fears, the six of wands, a sense of success, a sense that you're going to achieve something uh, for the potential outcome, the seven of wands. A little bit of resistance here, or maybe just a little bit of standing up and fighting for something that you want, but I guess we'll see. Let's clarify. Let me clarify the Knight of Wands. <clears throat> the Fool, the Moon, the Two of Swords. You're going aimlessly. To be honest, it feels like wherever you are planning to head towards, you have no idea about the destination, about what you'll find, about any of that. There's there's a sense of, of the unknown, which is stressing you out a little bit, but not that much to the point of where you're not going to go, right? So I feel like there's this whole unknown aspect to things in your let's move forward energy. Again, subconsciously, it does look like it holds a little bit of stress over you, but not much for now. Um, let's see that Nine of Swords. Four of Pentacles, Knight of Pentacles, a Temperance card. Somebody's dragging time here. Somebody's kind of um, almost uh, trying to gain time in a situation or trying to force time to extend almost. Um, like, you know, when... Let me think of an example. Well, let's go back to school, right, for examples, because that's the easiest one that comes to me. Uh, you haven't really done your homework. You kind of did, but not really. And then you go to class, and then the teacher kind of goes through everybody with their homeworks, but like randomly, and then they, they might, you know, pick you or not pick you to, to talk about your homework. And you're like, oh, what's the time? Oh, God, I hope something interferes. And then you hear... Uh, a teacher coming in to talk to your teacher and then that kind of gains you time right and all the or all of these aspects of hoping that something interferes so that they don't get to you uh it kind of looks like that where somebody's kind of hoping interference so that time can be expanded in a situation for some reason but that's only extending that's still going against the energy the energy flow and it's causing it's causing some damage here um like hurting the other the other party involved so i don't know who this is let's do the king of swords hmm. delaying 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 the unavoidable basically for the king of swords you get the lovers the queen of pentacles the five of wands okay so there's a connection here, definitely dealing with somebody. Um, I feel like for the most part, this connection is sitting on a pretty good nurturing kind of energy. There is some conflict there. There is something that needs to be addressed. There is that elephant in the room. I feel like that's the situation that somebody's trying to delay. Like, let's pretend the elephant is not here. But it's right here in between the two of us because it's so big, it, it takes takes up the whole room so how can we pretend not to see well let's just shove it in the corner and we'll pretend it's not here okay kind of comes in like that uh there's something a disagreement something that happened that was left right there but the the energy of it remained for the both of you and nobody wants to talk about it well you kind of do it kind of appears that you do them they're they're the ones trying to shove the elephant in the corner of the room Let's do the Temperance card in the recent past. Eight of Swords, Three of Wands, Seven of Cups. Again, delays, delays, delays. Because somebody was not able to decide what it is that they wanted. And they caused this whole train of delay. Let's do the Hangman. Hmm. 
in your strength. The world, the four of cups, the three of swords. No more stagnation, no more waiting around. Somebody may make a decision that's heartbreaking, but they have to make it or they feel they have to make it. Again, if this comes as a repercussion of that whole waiting aspect of things, it's going to be heartbreaking. It can be heartbreaking. Kind of like, I'm just not going to wait anymore. You know, that, that just like that. Um, and that could be hurtful, but the, the delay itself, the waiting itself is hurtful. Hmm. Let's do the judgment card in the immediate future. Eight of Pentacles, the Empress, the Knight of Wands. Somebody needs to decide. A decision hasn't been made forever here by the looks of it. Um, and it does show that they will make a decision, whoever this is, because they've been delaying this forever. And I feel like it's them. Now, I'm not saying they did it on purpose. Maybe things did show up. Maybe, I don't know. I have no idea what happened, but there seems to be a delay in things on somebody's part. Let's do the Wheel of Fortune for the supportive energies. Five of Cups, the Tower, the Queen of Swords. This whole time is just going to come back and bite this person in the... Um, yeah. It feels like waste of time. It feels like an epiphany, a realization of what the hell did I just do? You know, on whoever's doing this. Let's do the Four of Cups in the Hidden Energies. Ace of Cups, Three of Pentacles, Nine of Pentacles. The good part is that all of this is going to lead you into a brand new place. Possibly into a brand new situation. Possibly. It could be the same person, but they're definitely coming in under a different aspect. And a different energy uh, where this could see something brand new rebirthing basically but no not in the way that it's it's been going on that's not gonna that's not gonna work nope somebody's cutting that off definitely uh, so it, whatever this situation is leading you at least into a brand new direction let's do the six of wands in the hopes and fears, the magician, the two of cups, the devil. Well, there's manifestation on your part in terms of what it is that you want in regards to love. Uh, take a close look at the way you're manifesting that. Because if you're manifesting it, you can't manifest people. People need to understand that. <laughs> you can't manifest people to have them because they have free will you can't do that uh you can work with the energy around them yes you can work with a lot of things in terms of manifestation but i see you manifesting something coming together in terms of two people coming together um take a closer look at this manifestation because i feel like you're feeling good about it you're feeling confident it's gonna happen it's gonna um i don't know if it will who knows what the hell is going to happen along the way because, again, you're kind of pulling someone against their own will um, towards you if you're trying to force that energy. And the universe doesn't really work like that. Um, so there is something toxic in regards to the way that somebody's trying to manifest possibly another person. Yeah. So I don't know if that's you or somebody you're dealing with. Um, hmm. let's do the seven of wands for the potential outcome ace of swords six of wands ace of wands okay Somebody's taking action here and it feels good. The the act of whatever it is that they're doing, it feels good to them. Um, 
it's like somebody is really aligning with the way that they feel and they're going for it whatever that way of feeling is it, it makes them feel good it feels aligned uh, so if that's you that's a good thing if, if, even if that's them that's a good thing because it feels it feels all aligned like i feel this i'm gonna go for it this manifestation part is uh, kind of not the best showing up not the best kind of energy showing up here for you um just if this is you again um take a closer look at the ways to manifest energies people i wouldn't recommend it because in my personal opinion it doesn't work manifestation doesn't work other things work but i wouldn't use those things and hopefully people won't let's see what the universe has Five of Pentacles, Ace of Swords, Ten of Pentacles. You're wanting stability. You want long term. You want somebody you can rely on here. Um, but you're coming at this whole concept with your own fears about it. With your and it's normal. We all have them. We all want for who knows what. But along the way, things pop up, fears pop up, or insecurities. Uh, now, it's, again, normal thing, right? You're wanting something. Uh, take a look at the fears that come along. That doesn't mean that you won't get there. That means that, hey, why don't you take a look at this fear? Try to see where it's coming from. Maybe take a look at it. Maybe deal with it. Maybe it'll, you know, fly off your path. And then you can proceed to your goal, basically. So... This is more like a, hey, you need to be more observant of your own uh, fears, insecurity, whatever pops up for you. Because I, I see your goal, your goal is clear. I see obstacles along the way, big ones, especially if the other person is um, kind of delaying this whole process or try to. Um, but anyways interesting reading let's um let's close it off with a oracle card from the sacred traveler overcoming obstacles you can overcome anything you can Anyways, I don't know why this, this whole energy threw me off in your... Because I don't know who's doing this, and I'm not getting a, a very good vibe off of it, uh, this manifestation in this way. Um, if you're doing it, again, take a closer look at how you want to do it and the repercussions of it, and... If somebody else is doing it to you, it's just energy in the end, you can definitely clear it away, whatever kind of energy comes your way. Because uh, I'm just not getting a very good vibe off of it. But So that's what I have for you, Aquarius. Hope this helped and I'll see you next time.